Yo, what's going on? Uh? Wow, that was weird. What's going on, guys? We're talking about Semi Sola Shetu. Hopefully, I said that correctly. Former five star recruit who went to Vandy Vanderbilt. He was actually he's a British born Canadian basketball player. His family's from Nigerian and Caribbean heritage. He moved to Canada when he was five years old, and he was a McDonald's All American in 2018 and a Jordan Brand Class. He appeared in the Jordan Brand Classic. And so far in his career, he played for the Windy City Bulls of the G League. Then he played for the Winchester Knicks. And just recently, he was playing in, you know, Israel for Irony Nes Ziona BC in the top tier basketball league of Israel. And this is a guy who, look, he had an underwhelming freshman year. This was a guy that only averaged 10.9 points, 6.7 rebounds, 1.8 assists during his freshman season and declared for the draft right after that and went undrafted. And so far, he's played professionally for three seasons now. And his best season overall, if you look just from first eye glance, would be with the Winchester's Knicks through 13 games. He shot 56, almost 56% from the field and 37.5% from three on averages of about 14 and a half points, 10 rebounds, one and a half assists, a steal, and about a block a game. While the most appearance he got was with the Windy City Bulls, where he shot 57, almost 57% from the field and 14% from three, while only averaging six and a half rebounds, 1.3 assists, 1.3 steals, and half a block a game on 12.3 points. And his minutes were actually a lot lower when he was in Israel, playing only 17 minutes a night. And he averaged seven points, five rebounds, and assists a game with about a steal a game while shooting only 50% from the field and was 0% from three. I guess he didn't take any three-point shots or he missed any attempts he had. So this is a guy that, look, he's 6'10", 240 pounds. He's humongous. He's four days older than me. And... He's 6'11", actually measured now, and he has over a seven foot wingspan. He's a guy who is a power forward, small ball five, and I'm, he's gonna fit into what this super huge Orlando Magic team is trying to be built. But I think right now the, the thing with Semi Sola is he's a bit raw, and he's kind of a tweener. And I think they wanna commit him to either be, probably being a center because he has insane athleticism. This is a guy who can jump out the gym. But the problem is, is again, it's very raw. And hopefully, he'll be able to put it together and you know, be a guy who sticks. Right now, he's probably gonna you know, battle for a roster spot on the Orlando Magic. And they've signed a few guys already. This is a team that they're doing what a lot of other teams are doing and just getting a bunch of guys to duke it out. So that's where I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you guys agree on this? And do you want to see Semi Semi Shetu on this team? Or who who are you excited for? But that's basically it for me. I hope you guys do have a great day. Because there's not much else to talk about besides, I mean, we could look at the roster right now if you guys would like to see. Also, shout out Chris Haynes for this news. He was the one who broke it. But if you feel like the Magic roster, I know Devin Kennedy's a guy that, and Xavier Simpson's also a guy, that, and Kevon Harris and probably Admiral Schofield are all guys that are probably going to be competing for a roster spot. And they've signed a few other guys. So this is a team that there's, Plenty of guys that probably are going to be competing for a roster spot, like it or not. But that's where I want to hear your thoughts. If you were in this situation, what would you guys do? And who would you keep, obviously? I like. I kind of like the idea of Sammy Shet too. But I feel like this is a team that people don't realize is a borderline playing team. Okay? They're a sneaky playing team if they actually like do everything right. And I have, I have a lot of faith in... Our man Jamal Mosley, maybe more than most. Some people probably think he sucks, but I actually think he's not that bad of a coach. So that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Are you guys as faithful on the Orlando Magic as I am? I just want this team to be good. And imagine if Markel Fultz and Jonathan Isaac are healthy. Uh, this is I know Semi Solajetu would be more of a development pit guy, but hey, 
Look at all these good teams. Miami Heat down south. You know, the Golden State Warriors. They all develop their guys. Okay, even the up-and-coming ones like the Grizzlies.